Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, most Americans are not personally affected by the two wars that America is engaged in, in Iraq and Afghanistan. We go about our daily routine. Uh, we're concerned about March Madness, the gasoline prices, but war does not really affect most Americans personally. The media doesn't put those events on the front page. They're more concerned about the personal lives of celebrities than they are about the personal sacrifice of our warriors overseas. But war is real. Real Americans are tenaciously fighting on two fronts for the rest of us. For them, it is personal, and for their families, it is very personal. The United States is engaged in the longest continuous combat in American history as we serve our troops serve overseas. Staff Sergeant Mark C. Wells, photograph of him here, was 31 years of age. He was a member of the United States Army, and he was killed on March the 5th, 2011, in the Helmut province of Afghanistan by an IED. That's an improvised explosive device. Uh, that's the way the cowards that we do battle with fight uh, our troops. Of course, they wouldn't come out in the open because they would be overwhelmingly defeated. Mark was born in San Jose, California, and his parents live in Spring, Texas, in my district. And he joined the United States Army in 2003. Growing up, he always said, I want to be in the Army. He was a volunteer, Madam Speaker, as all of those that are serving in Iraq and Afghanistan are. They are volunteers. They have the motto, here am I, send me. And Mark went. He went to Iraq for 14 months, serving on active duty. And he's been in Afghanistan since August of last year. He was a member of the 303 EOD Battalion. As get this, Madam Speaker, an explosive ordnance disposal technician. And yes, that means exactly what it says. His dad, Burl, told me this week that his son was fearless. What a great attribute for American warrior. And he always wanted to be a soldier. Also, at the age of 12, he learned how to play the bagpipe. Bagpipes. It goes back to his Irish heritage. Grew up eating corned beef and cabbage, and when he was in Iraq, one of his assignments was to play the bagpipes at funerals for other soldiers that had been killed in combat. He would continually say, I love the Army. His dad said of his son, Mark, that he was my personal hero. His family said he was patriotic. He was a great dad, and he loved America. He leaves behind a wife, Danelle, who is eight months pregnant, also a son named Finn that's two years of age. His father would say that Mark understood the risk involved in being in the Army, but he loved what he was doing. And what I miss most is I won't be able to talk to him anymore. Madam Speaker, being in the Army affects people personally, like his parents, Burl and his mother, Sharon, his wife, Danelle, and Finn, their son, and a baby yet to be born. Mark Wells' memorial service will be on St. Patrick's Day. Yes, that Irish heritage comes into play. Many of us in this house have been down to the street at Arlington Cemetery to attend the funerals of our warriors that have been killed overseas. And we all know about those bagpipers that stand on the hill and play amazing grace in the fog as we bear. So I suspect that on St. Patrick's Day, another bagpiper will play for the funeral of Mark Wells, Staff Sergeant of the United States Army, and play that amazing song, Amazing Grace. And as Speaker, the cause for America and the cause for freedom is expensive. It cost America a son. It cost America a husband and it cost America a daddy. Where does America get such great men? They are the rare breed. They are the American breed. And our prayers go out for his family, but while we mourn the loss of Mark Wells, we should also thank the good Lord that such men as Mark Wells ever lived. And that's just the way it is. I yield back.